in some competitive examinations like you take bank, PUR, clerk, staff selling commission, railways, insurance. In these competitive examinations, uh, in some questions you need to find out the cube root of a number, the given number. Generally, five, six digit number they give you, and uh, you need to find out cube root of that number. There is a very simple uh, method to find out cube root of a number. Let us uh, see that one today. How to find out cube root of a number? Okay, uh, that I will tell you. Uh, I take an example first, and I explain how to find out uh, uh, cube root of a number. Okay, I take a number. Say. 54,872 is a perfect cube. Let us find out how to find out cube root of this number. 54,872 is a perfect cube. Let us find out cube root of this number. To find out cube root of this number, first what we have to do? Divide this number into two parts. Divide this number into two parts. Not just like that, with a condition. When you divide into two parts, the right side part should have exactly three digits. Make sure that right side part is having three digits. Okay? Like this. One, two, three. I am dividing here. So, right side is having three digits. And the left side part may have any number of digits. There is no restriction on left side part. Only right side part should have exactly three digits. Okay? Then you see. Here, right side part is ending with two. If this right side part ends with 2, your answer ends with 8. If at all right side part ends with 8, then your answer ends with 2. Okay? If it is 2, 8 comes. If it is 8, 2 comes. Fine. Now, the right side part is ending with 2, so our answer ends with 8. Now, see the entire left side part, 54. 54 is between which two perfect cubes? You just check up. 54 is between which two perfect cubes okay let us see cubes first of all you should know cubes 3 cube 27 4 cube 64 observe this 54 is between 3 cube and 4 cube out of these 3 and 4 you take smaller one 3 and write here okay and this is our answer cube root of this number is 38 one second friends divide the number into two parts such that right side part is having exactly three digits left side part may have any number of digits fine and uh, right side part is ending with two and our answer ends with eight and uh, observe the left side part 54 that is between which two perfect cube here 54 is between three cube and four cube out of these two you take smaller one and write here this is our answer okay and uh, important uh, uh, to identify left side part, you should know cubes. As I said, you remembering cubes is important. The more number of you know uh, cubes, you know the bigger numbers you can identify. Fine. And uh, one more thing, I just now said you, if the right side part is ending with two, your answer is ending with eight. Similarly, if this part ends with eight, your answer ends with two. I write right side uh, double side arrow mark. If it is 2, 8 comes. If it is 8, 2 comes. And just like this, if it is 3, 7 comes. If it is 7, 3 comes once again. If it is 3, write 7. If it is 7, write 3. That's it. This is the only difference we can make out. For the remaining all other digits, whatever digit comes here, your answer also ends with the same digit. Clear? This is very important. Right. Now let us see some examples I have written here. So let us find out cube root for these numbers, which is very easy. Okay, come here. First of all, uh, 1, 2, 3, let me divide here. Right side part is ending with 6. If it is 6 means, of course, 6. Only between 2 and 3, remaining all other digits. Let us take 1, or we take 4, 5, 6, 9, 0. Same digits will come. So 6 means, same 6 will come. Right. And 438, left side part is 438. 438 is between which two perfect cubes? Okay, right, that you should know. 4, uh, uh, 68, 38 is between which two perfect cubes? 
5 cube 125, 6 cube 216, 7 cube 343, 8 cube 512, 7 cube 343, 8 cube 512. This is between 7 cube and 8 cube. Smaller is 7. 76 is our answer. Right? Fine. Now, next question. So, here 1, 2, 3. Divide. 7 means 3 comes. As we know, 7 means 3 comes. And 148 is between. 5 cube and 6 cube. 5 cube is 125. 6 cube is 216. Smaller is 5. 53 is our answer. Fine. And next one. 6, 8, 5, 9. 1, 2, 3 here. 9 means, of course, same 9. If it is not there means, same digit will come 9. And 6 is between 1 cube and 2 cube. Smaller is 1. 19 is our answer. Right. Next one, friends. Uh, 1, 2, 3 here. 8 means, yeah, 8 means 2 comes. And 551 is between, 551 is between, hmm, 8 cube is 512, 9 cube is 729. This is between 8 cube and 9 cube. Smaller is 8. 82 is our answer. Okay? Fine. Next one. Here. 1, 2, 3. 2. 2 means, of course, 8. 8 comes. And 314 is between, uh, 6 cube and 7 cube. 6 cube is 216. 7 cube is 343. Between 6 cube and 7 cube. Smaller is 6. 68 is the answer. Next one. 1, 2, 3. Here we divide. 1 means of course same one comes. 68 is between uh, 4 cube and uh, 5 cube. 4 cube is 64. 5 cube is 125. Smaller is 4. 41. And our last one. See here. 1, 2, 3. Here we divide. 8 means 2. 1061. Left side part is 1061. 1061 is between 10 cube and 11 cube. 10 cube is 1000. 11 cube is 1331. 1331. Smaller is 1000. So 10 here. 1 or 2 is the answer. Right friends? Like this. Very simply. And observe here. As I said you once again I am mentioning. Right side part only should have exactly 3 digits. Left side part may have any number of digits. Here 3 digits. 2 digits. I mean 3 digits. 1, 3, 3, 2, 4. Restriction is only on right side part. Left side part may have any number of digits. Left side part may have any number of digits. Only right side part is should have exactly three. That you remember. Okay. And one more, one more important thing is this technique is to find a cube root of a perfect cube only. Okay. Okay. If the given number is not a perfect cube, how to find out? And first of all, how should we know in the examination whether the given number is a perfect cube or not? It is easy for us to find out. Because just when the question is given, see how they ask the question cube root means they ask questions like this. They don't just simply give question like this. They give like this. This is, this is how they ask. Cube root of the number. It comes like this. Okay. Uh, how do we know whether it is a perfect cube or not? In the examination, when the question is given, if it is a perfect cube, just before the directions, uh, before the question, you see the directions. The direction says, find the value of the following. That means it is a perfect cube. If it is not a perfect cube, the direction says, find the approximate value of the following. Approximate means we cannot expect the exact one. So, the number also is not a perfect cube. Okay, if it is not a perfect cube, how to find out? Simple. You find out the regular way, whatever the way I said, you just find out the cube root. And when you are uh, uh, confused between any options, then you check up from the those two options or three options. You find out cubes and whichever is close to the given number, you choose that one. If it is not a perfect cube. If it is perfect cube, observability, not at all a problem. Hope you like this method. Definitely it is useful for your examination. Thank you.